It looks like this is where the UFO is supposed to fly Whoa. by. How did we never see it before? It's a threat we should definitely take down quickly. Or the city will suffer. Hmm. There it is. Families, let's stop this threat as quickly as possible and save the yeah. city. Follow me. Yep, yep, yep. We need to get to the UFO as quickly as possible and destroy all the aliens. Because if we don't, the whole city will end. And who would have thought there'd be so many of them coming, but we're gonna make it. It's a good thing we have superpowers. Yes. Because without them, we wouldn't be able to take on so many opponents. And now, they can't even do anything to us. I like that a lot. But don't forget that there are a lot of them, so don't get caught in the crowd. I will fly over the battlefield and make sure everyone is okay. And if anything happens, I'll come to the rescue. I'm yep, Superman yep. now after all. JJ, there are a lot of alien rocks left on the ground after the battle. Whoa. And we'd better get them, because in the hands of humans, they would be too powerful a weapon. Let's take a look around the area. Yes. Don't you think it would be a good idea to attach a UFO? It's just going to fly away from us, and that would be bad. What the? I can't believe anyone survived our fight. Or is it on autopilot? Hey. Either way, we need to check it out. So now we're all going to get inside that UFO Seriously? and find out all its secrets. Looks like we won't have to do anything, because it's attracting us to oh, it. No. And it's really scary because I can't get out on my own. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. That's it. We're on an alien yeah. ship. And I gotta say, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Looks like this place is being watched. Let's take a look around the ship, uh -huh. see what we can find. Looks like we're not gonna be able to walk around the ship just like that. <sighs> so let's use the ventilation. And JJ, do you think there's a self-destruct button? Yes. If there is, we could do something very interesting. In fact, that's exactly what I'm looking mm. for. Because we're not gonna find anything useful here. And if we destroy the UFOs, we'll have one less problem. All we have to do is figure out where everything is. What a scary lab they Whoa. have. Looks like there's nothing in here either. And I'm most interested in the central control unit, because that's how you control a UFO. No. But can we get in there? If we're careful, no one will notice us. Mm -hmm. And if anything, we can beat them all, right? Actually, yeah. We're a lot stronger than everyone else here. Whoa. But on a mission like this, it's important to stay hidden because they can call for backup, and such an outcome would threaten the entire city oh. and even our world. Look, I think this is the room where the self-destruct button was installed. Yes. And I've always wondered why they created it in the first place. After all, no one wants to destroy their own ship. Hey. But that's what we want, isn't it? Uh -huh. So let's push the button and run as fast as we can. I think we can get out of the UFO oh. through the center console. JJ, it's like we're on the moon. What the? Who would have thought a UFO would have made it this far? What are we supposed to do now? We can breathe, but it's a long way to the Earth. Mm -hmm. Let's go inside. Looks like some kind of research lab. Seriously? But who would build one on the moon? The electric fence works too, except it's not exactly an obstacle for me. <laughs> yes. So the door's open, we're good to go. How cool is it that we're on the moon? Huh. I thought I'd never see the Earth from space. And you don't think something's wrong? What the? There are so many different sensors. And according to their readings, the temperature of the dirt is rising very quickly. No way. But how is that even possible? If it gets too high, everything we have will burn up. <gasps> how awful. And what are we supposed to do now? Hmm. We may be superheroes, but it's going to be too hard to stop the whole planet from warming. Will we not be able to save the world no. this time and have to go to another planet? Looks like the heating of our planet is being controlled right from this laptop. What? So I'm gonna try to hack into it and stop the heating process. Hopefully you'll be able to hack into the laptop yes. because our planet is already too hot. And if we don't do something, it's going to explode very soon. Oh no! I believe you can fix this, JJ. It really is worse than I thought. <laughs> and there's certainly no time left to think. So I'll just hack into my laptop and lower the temperature of the planet. Yeah. I hope I don't break anything in there. If you need help, you just say the hmm? word. I can huh? do anything. I don't know much about laptops, though, so it would be easier for me to fight. <laughs> That's it. I'm inside the laptop. Woo! And it's a good thing I didn't bring Mikey, because I remember him blowing up his laptop trying to solve the same puzzle. Really? Well, I'm not going to have a problem with this one. So, how's Uncle JJ doing? Huh? I think it's really hard to hack into laptops. I wouldn't have been able to do that. 
Don't worry, I'm fine. Yeah. Turns out the defense system here is pretty simple. So I just need to do everything in sequence and I can get full access to the laptop's functions. It's so good to have you on the team because <laughs> if I had to solve something like this, our planet would be gone because I would have blown it up. But hmm? with you, huh? we have a good chance of winning. You really shouldn't be allowed to do this kind of work hey! because even I don't have it easy. And I don't know how much I can lower the temperature of the planet. <laughs> I hope it doesn't freeze too much. So it's possible that we could freeze the planet? Yes. I mean, that would be really bad too. It sounds like we're in very big trouble <sighs> and we're the only ones with the power and ability to fix it. Looks like it worked out exactly the way I wanted it to. <laughs> yes! The planet's temperature is dropping and it would be great if it could get down to 20 degrees. It looks like it's about to, hmm. so we'll just have to wait. JJ, what don't the... you think the temperature has dropped too much? There's no way that's happening. Let's see what's happened to the planet. You've lowered the temperature too much. Oh, no! So we're gonna have to hack into the laptop again. JJ, how could you let this happen? Huh? Do you realize how many people could have frozen to death because of your mistake? Uh... We need to fix this problem now. But I didn't know this would happen. And uh -huh. since it's gotten so cold on the planet, I need to save everyone who's frozen. Mikey, I'm heading back right Seriously? now, and I'm hoping you'll help me on this rescue mission. Of course I'll help you. Booyah. The two of us will help everyone. It's terrible. Look at what's happened to our town. Whoa. It's supposed to be summer. There's probably a lot of people who need our help, but I don't think we're going to be able to get to them yes. all. So we only need to save a fraction. You're right. The situation is very dire indeed. <gasps> and the best thing we can do is go back to the moon and start the process of heating up the planet. I don't think I'll make that mistake a second time, really? and everything will be fine. But let's go somewhere first. Huh? I feel like we should definitely be able to help in that neighborhood. There's going to be a big snowbank around here somewhere, Whoa. and I'm guessing the villagers won't be able to get out of it without our help. So let's help them quickly, yeah. and then fly back to the moon. I really don't understand how this particular house got completely covered in snow. Huh. I guess they were just unlucky. And you're sure we can still rescue someone from here? Hmm. I mean, even I'm freezing out here. Let's just trust that they'll be okay. Yes. And I understand the planet's temperature continues to drop. That's too bad. Will the temperature just keep dropping until it goes to absolute zero? No way! In that case, even we could freeze. That's why I want to build a fire here. <gasps> it will at least help warm up the building a little bit. It felt good all at once. And I didn't know you had so many fires with you. <laughs> Looks like you were quick to prepare for the possibility that the planet might freeze over. But will it help? Mm -hmm. All we can do for now is wait and see. There's no rush for now, so we might as well wait inside this house for a while. Mm -hmm. It's a lot warmer in here than it is outside. It's a long way to the moon. Well, it looks like all the villagers in this house were able to keep warm, yes. and that's a good thing. Now we have to go back to the moon and warm up the planet. The most important thing is that we do it, mm -hmm. so let's go fast. You're right, we don't have time to do nothing else, <gasps> so we'll all fly back to the moon together. And I already know what I need to do to get the planet's temperature back to normal, yep, yep, as yep. long as my plan works. Look, what if we just put a lot of stoves on the planet? Huh? I think that might work and raise the temperature. Since we don't have any better options, oh. we'll give it a shot. I think it might work too. And then we won't have to adjust the temperature with the laptop anymore. Whoa. How is that even possible? That's it. We've got all the heaters set up, mm -hmm. which means now we have to convince them that our idea works. Let's go into the lab and watch the temperature change. Yes. I think it's already started. The most important thing Woo! is that we don't overheat the planet again. I can't wait to see the planet. Booyah. And look at that. The temperature is perfect. I told you this plan would work. I congratulate us. <laughs> We've managed to pull off a very difficult task. You know what that means, don't you? What? Now we can safely return to the planet and continue saving everyone. I hope no one finds out we almost destroyed the entire planet Oops. because then we'd be the enemy. Don't worry, no one will ever know about it. <sighs> we were the only ones. I'm so glad everything is back to normal. Ooh. We don't have to fly between planets anymore, so I can start putting out the fire. Ooh. It looks like a pretty simple job to me now. But let's not forget that even now, some villagers may be in danger. Huh. So it's our responsibility to save them quickly so that they can survive. Yes. It's going to be pretty simple. And look how much fire there is. Whoa. Looks like the house has been on fire for a while which means the villager's probably hiding somewhere and passed out. Hmm. Let's find him as fast as we can. I think I even know where he might be. Really? So I'm gonna dig it up, but I don't know if he lived here alone. 
so I'm gonna check the other rooms just to be sure. Mm -hmm. After all, we have to save everyone in here. Let's just figure out the best way to get the villagers out beforehand. Whoa! I think the quickest way is through the window, as long as there's no fire. But I can put it out, so you go get another villager for now. Oh yeah! Don't worry, everything will be fine. But I'm not saying that when both villagers are unconscious, <laughs> I hope the doctors can bring them back to consciousness, yeah. and we can fly on. It's still quite a while before the ambulance arrives, Whoa. so let's try to treat the villagers ourselves. I saw a lot of first aid kits inside the house, and bandages can be made from white carpeting. Yes. That might help them a little bit. All right, well, that's what we'll do. We don't need to go anywhere else for now anyway, so we can spend more time with these villagers. We're not gonna leave them lying on the ground uh -huh. until the ambulance arrives. I feel so sorry for these villagers. What the? They have done nothing wrong, but they are still in a bad situation. Mm -hmm. Huh? Save them quickly. Don't worry, they'll be fine. Mm -hmm. We managed to get them out of the house before it burned down, so the villagers will live. Now I'll just give them more medicine to help their bodies wake up. Mm. And we need to dress their wounds. Oh! Well, that's it. We've done all we can. <sighs> and if you think about it, the ambulance might not even come here anymore because the villagers don't need any more help. Yes. So let's move on. We've got a lot of work to do. You're right. Since we've just become heroes, <gasps> our services are needed by a lot of people. Looks like there was a terrible accident on the bridge. Whoa. And if we don't help quickly, the car and the man could fall into the water. And then there's no way anyone can save him. Seriously? Heroes, let's get to work. That's a lot of police and firemen. Yes. Couldn't they figure out how to save the driver? All hands on deck. We're going to try to save this car from going down. JJ, huh? we're gonna have to make an intervention to keep the car from falling. The main thing is to take your time and do everything as carefully as possible. Mm -hmm. Because if you make even one mistake, the machine will fly into Whoa. the water. Don't worry, I know exactly what I have to do in this situation. Yep, yep, yep. After all, it's not the first time I've saved a car from falling, and I could just pick it up and move it, <gasps> but I'm afraid the hull might break. You're right. It's best not to do that just yet. So let's just keep doing the ledge. It seems to me anyway that the car is still standing very firmly, so it shouldn't suddenly fall down. Hmm. The important thing is that the driver doesn't move. I don't think he's gonna move in that situation. Oh. And if anything, I'm almost done installing the ledge. So tell the fire department and the police to get the driver out of the car soon. Yeah. By the way, is he the only one who got hurt? Looks like it. And I think I even understand how that could happen. What he the? probably just fell asleep. And when he woke up, he was in such a bad situation. Yes. He's lucky there are superheroes in town. Dad, are you sure this structure can support a car? Mm -hmm. Although you've already installed a lot of beams, so it shouldn't fall. Oh. All right, I'm installing the final beams. Whoa. So when I'm done, we need to carefully remove the driver from the car and hand him over to the doctors and the police. Uh -huh. I think he's gonna have a lot of injuries. Listen. Don't you think it would be better to put another partition on top of the car? Hmm. Because if it does start to fall, it could catch on the top. And then we'd have more time to save the man. Yes! You're right. I'd better do that. And who knew this assignment would be so difficult? <gasps> I guess it's just been a long time since I've seen one of these. How did the car hit the edge of the bridge so hard? <gasps> Let's also remove the traps the police yes. set. I take it they were trying to catch this driver, but something went wrong. I don't think you can do that on bridges at all. Hmm? Indeed, it's too much of a risk. By the way, I think they should have gotten the driver by now. Mm -hmm. So let's go. You won't believe this, but there was another accident not too far from the bridge. Oh, no! Looks like everyone's having a bad day. So let's try to save everyone we can. I think we're gonna have to treat yes. them too. It's even worse than the bridge this time. And I can see right away who needs our Seriously? help. Mikey, I think it's best if we get small and help his body from the inside out. And then he'll live. <gasps> Are you sure we're going to be able to save him? Yes. I know we're superheroes now, but I didn't go to doctor school. So I can only do what you tell me to do. Booyah. But let's give it a shot. That's great. Don't worry about it. It's what? not the first time I've done this, so we'll be fine. Just make sure you do exactly what I tell you to do. Uh -huh. We'll be fine. Okay. Here we are, Whoa. inside his body. And look how much extra he's got in there. I can see why you thought we should get inside his body. Hmm. All right, let's get this place cleaned up, shall we? Yeah, let's fix him. Yeah. As you may have noticed, there's a lot of glass in his body, and that's not good. So we're gonna have to clean no it up. Way. And at the same time, we're gonna have to patch up his wounds so that he doesn't bleed too much. Hmm. To be honest, I'm not really enjoying being here but it seems like there was no other way. So I'm gonna do whatever it takes to save this man's life. You called an ambulance, yes. right? Of course you did. 
They have a much better understanding of how to help a person. Whoa! But if we do it quickly and correctly, he won't even need an ambulance because we'll stop the bleeding for sure. By the way, I think we're getting pretty good at mm -hmm. this. So we should be able to cure him completely. Just remember to take all the glass we can find what with the? us. Looks like we're gonna be done here pretty soon, huh? I'm so worried about this oh. man. He was just walking down the road and a car hit him. Don't worry, he'll definitely be fine. Hey. I mean, we've helped him a lot. So we're gonna get him out of yes. here and he's gonna be conscious. Well, that's it. We made it through very quickly. And look, I told you he'd feel better right away. He may not be on his feet yet, but at least he doesn't have glass sticking out of his body. So we're good. To make sure he gets better, let's put bandages on him and use the first aid kits. He's had a lot of blood loss, so now he needs to restore it. So what do we do next? You're right, treatment is never unnecessary. And if you think we can go and rest now, you're very much mistaken, because there are still a lot of people in town who need our help. I'm starting to regret being a superhero a little bit, because we haven't slept in almost two days. But I realize that if we don't keep an eye on the city, it could be destroyed so we have a lot of responsibility on our shoulders. We did a very good job today, and albeit a small one, but we deserved a rest. I say we all fly down to the restaurant together and have a burger.